But not all who break are broken. Sometimes you have to break your own heart to put the pieces back in the right place. And if my choices have made me, it's music that saves me. Because all roads, wrong and right, lead to one place. To you. To my heart. To Nashville. Coming to CMT. Check your local listings. Advil Liquid Gels work so fast, you'll ask, what bad back? What pulled hammy? Advil Liquid Gels make pain a distant memory. Nothing works faster, stronger, or longer. What pain, Advil? We welcome you back to GMA. That's the video that so many people are talking about. And what you're hearing right now are, are those two-year-olds. They're live in our studio, one saving his twin brother after that dresser fell on top of him. Such a scary moment. Oh, now they're quiet. Come here. Oh, it's a scary moment. So quiet. Yeah. There are some people, though, that are actually raising questions about that video. And the family, as you can see, standing by live, going to answer those critics, and we're going to hear from them just ahead. And I love gra the proud grandma and grandpa taking pictures of them right now in our studio. Well, you can well. see how active yeah. they are and how possibly something like that could have happened. You can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Two-year-olds are rushing around right now. Also right now, a lot going on. Uh, Donald Trump is taking aim at the CIA. President-elect considering changes to the spy agency as he prepares to receive that classified briefing tomorrow on the election hack. And 35 states facing winter weather alerts. Wind chills in the Midwest already down to dangerous levels, 45 degrees below zero. And now an Arctic blast is heading to the East Coast. Snow and ice set to create dangerous driving mm -hmm. conditions. It is a busy, busy morning. And we're going to begin this half hour with that ABC News exclusive inside the Beverly Hills murders that, that shook the nation nearly three decades ago. Eric and Lyle Menendez convicted of brutally killing their parents. Well, this morning, a look at never-before-seen home movies and why the brothers say they did it. Terry Moran is back with us this morning. Oh, you know how it is, Avril, like two year old yeah. Two year old boys. Good luck. Yeah. And two of them at once. Good mm -hmm. luck. But this this story has just continued to fascinate people. The response we've been getting online and on social media to tonight's documentary on ABC has been remarkable. And I think it's because it is a family story. Family's the crucible of our emotions, where our most important connections are forged, and in some cases, broken. The Menendez brothers trial was a sensation at the time some people calling it the crime of the century. Outside the courtroom it was pure pandemonium. It's like the the crowds in the Roman Colosseum you know blood they smell blood. It was the case of two young and rich men Eric and Lyle Menendez accused of the shotgun murders of their parents Jose and Kitty. When I first saw Eric Menendez walk into the courtroom my blood went cold because I had never seen someone who had murdered his parents before. And it really was the Menendez case. But the real scene was inside the courtroom with prosecutors. It will become apparent that this murder was unjustified and wholly premeditated. And defense attorneys hurling dueling claims. The origin of this killing was a lifetime of abuse at the hands of those same parents. Prosecutors had strong evidence, graphic photos of the crime scene. This is her before, and this is her after. Experts. It ejects the round of ammunition. And even a confession by the brothers to their therapist, Dr. Jerome Ozeal. Did you ask them why they killed their mother? They felt that they were putting the mother out of her misery. But the ultimate question in this case was not if the brothers killed their parents, but why. He killed his parents because he could no longer endure their abuse and had to stop it. Both of the Menendez brothers took the stand and told of abuse. Can you answer the question? Yes. Okay, was you telling Lyle what? My dad had been molesting me. You could hear a pin drop in the courtroom. And that's when I thought, oh, oh darn, I'm in trouble. But two family members yes, came sir. forward to say both Lyle and Eric had each told the them of the abuse years the before. By the time of the killings, Jose Menendez had grown disgusted with his sons. Eric was a disappointment in whatever Joe thought would be the right way for a young man to behave. I met Eric Menendez when I was doing a photo shoot in Beverly Hills. He was natural in front of the camera. He was very comfortable. I don't think Eric had really the physical attributes to be a working model. But he was photogenic. I think Eric was struggling to find his way. 
and I don't know the insides of what went on in their house because he didn't talk about it. Describe your relationship with your father. Brutal. Uh, uh, painful. Uh, torturous. And yet, uh, I, I admired him uh, because he was so strong and he was he was everything that success was, that I was taught that success was. Uh, and uh, I thought that he was the most powerful and brilliant person I had ever met. Though the first trial ended in a hung jury, they were eventually convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison, no chance of parole. I'm more of a fully formed adult now. Uh, of course, looking back, it is, it's shocking to think about that that happened, that I could have been involved in taking anyone's life and my parents' life, it, it's, it's still jarringly, it seems, it seems unimaginable because this seems so far removed from who I, I am and who I was. And speaking to ABC News from prison all these years later, Lyle Menendez still speaks with passion of the man he loved and feared. My father was like a force of nature and you, and you look up to that. You were expected to be competitive to a fault. He began to sort of try to groom me to be hyper-competitive and succeed. Lyle and Eric Menendez are serving out their separate life sentences in separate prisons, but they're still in touch, uh, phone calls and mail mostly, and they play the occasional game of chess, one move at a time, by mail. Ooh. Snail and mail. No chance yeah. they're getting out of prison. No chance. The, all their appeals have been exhausted. The only possible chance is that some future governor of California would commute the sentence, but yeah. uh, they are in prison for the rest of their lives. It was captivating then. It's still captivating it now is. all these years later. All right, Terry, thanks so much. And Truth and Lies, the Menendez Brothers, airs tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC. And we've got a lot coming up on our big board, Princess Kate's paparazzi trial. Why six journalists could spend up to a year in jail for photos they took of the Duchess. Plus, we're going to take you inside the world's biggest tech event. Rebecca Jarvis is there at the Consumer Electronics Show. And the bed that may stop snoring, she's going to tell us all about it in two minutes. <laughs> Right when you feel a cold sore, Abriva can heal it in as few as two and a half days when used at the first sign. Without it, the virus spreads from cell to cell. Only Abriva penetrates deep and starts to work immediately to block the virus and protect healthy cells. You could heal your cold sore fast, as fast as two and a half days when used at the first sign. Learn how Abriva starts to work immediately at Abriva.com. Don't tough it out. Knock it out fast with Abriva. Hurry into Lowe's today for huge deals across the entire store. Now get 10% off appliances $3.96 or more, like this washer and dryer pair for only $3.29 each, and this Whirlpool refrigerator for $9.98. Don't miss out on the season's best savings right now at Lowe's. Experience the most visually dazzling and extraordinary motion picture event of the season. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. The Los Angeles Times raves it's a special kind of magic. Come on. A Monster Calls, rated PG-13. It's all-you-can-eat pancake time at IHOP. So put on your stretchy pants and find out how many delicious, world-famous buttermilk pancakes you can eat. But you better hurry, because all-you-can-eat pancakes ends February 12th. IHOP. Eat up every moment. Bundle up the savings at JCPenney. Outerwear under $30 for women's, for men's, and for kids. Plus, save $10 when you spend $25 or more with your coupon. Hurry in. Sale ends this Sunday. That's getting your pennies worth. 97.1 Wash FM. Washington's variety of the 80s, 90s, and today. Start your workday commercial free at 8 o'clock. 97.1 Wash FM. I am so proud of you. Mom, um, when's it your turn? Possible starts now at Strayer.edu. Back now with our big board. Let's get started right here with Dan Abrams at the table. We've got the latest in that trial involving Princess Kate. Six journalists facing up to a year in prison after publishing topless photos of the Duchess, Duchess sunbathing back in 2012. And, and Dan, this has really sparked a big debate on privacy, being closely watched. Why is this such a big deal? Because we're talking about criminal. We're talking about the possibility of actually having to serve time. Keep in mind that when these paparazzi take these kinds of pictures, typically built into the cost of it, 
is potential fines, potential legal fees in Europe in particular, right? They assume, oh, you know what, if we get into trouble, we're going to have to pay X amount of dollars. Criminal changes everything. You're no longer talking about just how many dollars. You're talking about the possibility of time, and you're talking about executives from the magazine. You're talking about the photographers. Uh, this is a big deal. Trial's been delayed a little bit, but, but this is going to be a very closely watched case. Is this a British thing, or could this happen in America? Because obviously celebrities are routinely stalked by paparazzi here. Would they be facing similar charges if the same thing happened here? They would not. Um, so France has the toughest privacy laws, basically, in Europe, or at least some of them. So the fact that this occurred there makes this even harder. This is why they're suing there. Um, and this is why they've pushed so hard for the prosecution there, which is to send a message. Because, yes, there's tough new laws in California, for example, about paparazzi, in particular about the way that they drive and the way that they treat children, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You could probably get fined or sued, et cetera, for using a telephoto lens um, if you're invading someone's privacy. Not criminal. Not criminal. And also, this is a tough case because this was on a public street. And you can actually see the home where they were at from that public street. That would make it another defense here. It's the defense they're trying to use there as well. As you point out, this is a pretty big business right now. So the question is, will this be just be written off if there's a finding as the cost of doing business, or will it be a real deterrent? No, I, th I think, again, I think if you're talking about jail time, I think this is gonna, this could fundamentally change the way things occur in Europe in particular. All right, Dan Abrams, thanks so much. Next up, it is the tech event of the year, the Consumer Electronics Show kicking off in Las Vegas today, where the world's biggest innovators will showcase the gadgets you and your kids will be begging for next Christmas. Rebecca Jarvis is there now with all the latest gadgets. And Rebecca, this is where the video cassette recorder was unveiled back in 1970, the CD player back in 1981. So what is everyone talking about this year? Amy, this is where you come to see the future, and the future holds a lot of robots. People out there, they might have an Alexa at home. Well, this is the Amy robot. We found it from a sea of robots and thought, why not the Amy robot? We'll talk to her. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, America. Special <laughs> message for you guys. She can also dance. Can you dance for us, Amy? And she can be your personal assistant. There are robots here that can play chess. There are robots here that can help you take your phone calls, set your calendar, oh, and dancing. play music and dance for us. Well, Thank you so much, Amy. She's very obedient, Amy. It's very so because I get called Amy Robot. Now, they're also trying to revolutionize well, you have, you have the way that we sleep voice and you're a better dancer. Here, there is the Sleep Number Smart Bed. This is the Sleep Number Smart Bed, guys. And first of all, it gels to your body. It also warms your feet. I was speaking with Kelly, who with the company. She's in Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota originally. It's nice to have a foot warmer in bed, but the best part of this, if you have someone, or maybe you are someone who snores, when you start snoring, it will actually prop your body up, guys, oh. so that you stop snoring at night. That's I don't amazing. think they have anything that can stop you from talking so at night yet. Yeah, that's really say, awesome. That beats the and elbow then I get finally from over here, guys, <laughs> we have this. This is the everything proof speaker, and you can pour water on it. Let me open the water. You can pour water on it. It's all good. You can even throw it on the floor. Keeps playing, guys. Wow. wow. And, and Rebecca, <laughs> I heard about this. I was reading about it this morning. This super duper, super expensive uh, laptop. Yes, yeah, so it's AC's Predator 21X, $9,000 computer. They're calling it the Ferrari of laptops because it has a curved screen. You can control it with your eyes. This is really for the gamers out there. It's, I've talked to some gamers. They're really, really excited about this. And you could be seeing a lot more of this technology in all different types of products in the year ahead. Wait, so you're saying you control with your eyes instead of a mouse? You control with your eyes instead of a mouse, George. So you can imagine that would be very useful for a lot of people, and in particular, the gamers out there who don't want to take that extra but second you to click the button. Wouldn't want to spill that bottle of water on that nine thousand yeah. dollar computer. Definitely not. She gets to go to Vegas yeah. and try out these really yeah, cool things. Yeah, nine thousand dollar Ferrari <laughs> computer, not so much. And I got to talk topless photos. How, how, did, how did that happen? Yeah, you seem to yeah. want that computer. You know, like, I, she's having so you, much fun. We're out keeping there. people in their lanes. Exactly. Man. Exactly. Right. Thank you both. Yeah. And coming up in two minutes. We got the family at the center of the video we've seen so many times right there. Those, that young boy saving his little brother. They're going to respond to critics who say this video is a hoax. There they are. And after recent incidents like this, children stuck dangling from ski lifts. Gio Benitez suiting up. He's got some important information for when you hit the slopes.
deals at Target. Like buy any two Annie's products, get one free. When a cold calls, <laughs> answer it with Zycam Cold Remedy. It shortens cold so you get better faster. Colds are gonna call. Answer them with Zycam. Mm -hmm. Zycam, get your better back. Now in great tasting crystals. One, two, three, four. La La Land has been nominated for seven Golden Globe Awards, including Best Picture. Don't miss the most acclaimed movie of the year. We'll see you in the movies. La La Land, rated PG-13. Now playing everywhere. Did you know two areas of your brain can make it hard to lose weight? Contrave is an FDA-approved weight loss medicine that may help adults who are overweight or struggle with obesity lose weight and keep it off. Contrave is believed to work on two areas of the brain, your hunger center. I'm so hungry. To reduce hunger and your reward system. Ice cream. French fries. To help control cravings. Across three long-term studies, Contrave patients lost approximately two to four times more weight than with diet and exercise alone. Contrave is not for everyone. One ingredient in Contrave may increase suicidal thoughts or actions in some children, teens, and young adults within the first few months. Other serious side effects include seizures, increase in blood pressure or heart rate, liver damage, manic episodes, glaucoma, and allergic reactions. Do not take with opioids. Reduce hunger, help control cravings. Contrave, the number one prescribed weight loss brand. Go to Contrave.com. And we're back. Now you see the family here at the center of this video we've all seen. It shows two-year-old saving his twin from a fallen dresser. That is Bodie saving Brock right there. And a lot of it was a wake-up call to so many parents, this video. But now some critics are raising questions about it. So the show family is with us now. We've got the mom and dad, Kaylee, and Ricky, grandma, Katie. And you've got Brock. That's Brock, that's Bodie, yep. and that's crew. Yep. So, so, so let, you know, I, I guess internet trolls follow anything that happens uh, yeah. these days. There are a lot of people online raising a lot of questions about the video. And one of the questions they're saying is, wait, why was the dresser empty? So basically, these, <laughs> as you can tell, they're pretty active. Yes. So we, uh, we do whatever we can, as I'm changing volume. Um, we do whatever we can to make sure we can keep it clean. So they would get into the drawers, pull all the clothes that we had in the drawers and put them out and just throw them all over their room during nap time or whatever. So we just decided the easiest thing was to empty the drawers and put all their clothes in like the closet. Okay, that's, that's, that's question one. The second one is that I guess you run a security uh, camera company and some people saying it's a little suspicious that the camera was trained right there on the dresser. Sorry. Sure. Yeah, so I don't, I'm I just an employee, like I, I'm in sales for them, and there's thousands of sales reps for, for the company. Oh, Brock's on the loose. Brock's on the loose. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I, we have cameras throughout our whole house, and that camera's just positioned in the best angle to see the entire room. So it wasn't positioned just to have just the dresser. So there are the cameras room. everywhere, yeah. all throughout. That's yeah, just and they're that mounted on the view. wall and fixed, so they don't move. We don't move them around. They're just, that's where it is. So, so Ricky, why don't you <laughs> tell us, oh, I'm sorry so about okay. that. Why don't you just walk us through what you heard, what you saw, what was going on Friday morning. It's clearly these guys are a handful. They are a handful. <laughs> they're a lot of work. They're curious. They're rambunctious. And um, what I saw in the morning was they usually wake up at the exact time every single day, and I, they woke up a little bit later and I didn't hear anything, so I got to my phone, looked on the camera, and the dresser was falling down just flat, and I didn't see any kids anywhere. So where were they? I was frantic, frantic so I ran downstairs, flung open the door, and they were just over in the corner playing nice and quiet. and, and Like nothing happened? Like nothing yeah. happened. So how did you figure out what happened? We went back, Ricky did, and yeah. we looked at the video on the camera. Hold up the recording and then I'm watching it for the first time and obviously like as a parent my heart dropped because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So were you watching it alone or watching it together? He watched it alone first and Be then careful. Yeah, <laughs> showed me. And then I showed her right after I'd watched it and I was like, Oh my gosh. And we didn't we were in shock, like we didn't know we looked Brock over and, and Bodie over and we're like, There's no scratch on and we just felt super So nothing, lucky. no marks at all? No marks nothing. or anything. We felt really, really blessed. Wow. Happened. I mean, did you have any idea that Bodhi was so strong? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a pretty strong kid. He can lift a lot of things and do a lot of things that we'd never imagined. So, but I, I think there was think something more. We had to a little that. bit of extra help. Just, yeah. Yeah, sure. that, he had. It was. It was it's almost superhuman crew. Could you imagine your little brother could pull off something like that? You got to keep these guys in line. 
can pull up a chair. You can? <laughs> That's pretty good. We got to get the strength runs in the family. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, everybody's okay uh, right now. We're so glad about that. We're glad to see him growing up so strong and so active. Um, <laughs> but I don't envy you every morning <laughs> in the house <laughs> with these boys. It's, it's a lot of work, true. but it's definitely worth it. It'll be worth it. No question about it. Thanks for coming in. Thank hey, Robin. You. Yeah, definitely, because they are adorable. All right, thanks so much, George. Coming up, uh, Amy and I are very excited about this because the show Nashville is back, and Hayden is here. She's going to talk about her battle after postpartum depression, her advice for other mothers just ahead. But the headline, Nashville is back. Smile when she heard your voice. Like most women, you have a morning routine to help you be your best all day. But if you suffer from heavy periods due to uterine fibroids, being your best is usually preparing for the worst. Doctors are now conducting a research study evaluating an investigational medication that may reduce bleeding due to uterine fibroids. Qualified participants will receive study-related care and investigational medication at no cost. To see if you qualify, visit myfibroidstudy.com or call 1-844-35-STUDY. What's your call sign? Rogue One. There is no Rogue One. Well, there is now. See the record-breaking phenomenon. It's the number one movie in the galaxy for the second week in a row. Please do not resist. Rogue One, rated PG-13. From the farming mines at Ocean Spray, a new epic flavor. It's cranberry. It's pineapple. And there's no sugar added. Cranberry pineapple 100% juice. The next big thing to hit the juice aisle. As soon as I left the hospital, after a DVT blood clot, I sure had a lot to think about. What about the people I care about, including this little girl? And what if this happened again? I was given warfarin in the hospital, but wondered, was this the best treatment for me? So I asked my doctor, and he recommended Eliquis. Eliquis treats DVT and PE blood clots and reduces the risk of them happening again. Yes, Eliquis treats DVT and PE blood clots. Eliquis also had significantly less major bleeding than the standard treatment. Both made me turn around my thinking. Don't stop Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. If you had a spinal injection while on Eliquis, call your doctor right away if you have tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily and it may take longer than usual for bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Eliquis treats DVT and PE blood clots, plus had less major bleeding. Both made Eliquis the right treatment for me. Ask your doctor if switching to Eliquis is right for you. How do you become America's best-selling brand? All right. Ooh. Breathing, keep breathing. Breathing, let's go. You make it protective. Faster? Just trying to be safe. Good job. You make it hard-working. You make it so everyone's happy. Going further to make life better. That's Ford. And that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Look at you, saving money on your Medicare Part D prescriptions. At Walgreens, we make it easy for you to seize the day by helping you get more out of life and Medicare Part D. Now, with $0 copays on select plans and rewards points on all prescriptions, Walgreens has you covered. So drop by and seize the savings. Walgreens, at the corner of Happy and Healthy. Back here on Good Morning America on a Thursday morning, what a crowd we have. And I was just about to show everybody this beautiful video, this time lapse of lenticular clouds. That's what they look like. I said they look like a UFO kind of going over the Fort Collins area. We had that and then this picture we could not get enough of. San Diego, California. Ah. <sighs> But of course, we're talking about that new storm in the West. I always have some sort of moment in there. You guys all doing well this morning? Yeah. yeah! There is so much more coming up on this show. I see the setup. Hunter Hayes is going to be here. This segment, though, brought to you by Walgreens, your local news and weather. Here's your receipt. Have a nice day. Thank you.
the IKEA Winter Sale. Woo! Get up to 50% off select items now through January 10th. IKEA. It's go time at Dunkin' with two wake-up wraps for $3. Enjoy two freshly made oven toasted wraps with bacon, sausage, or ham, and keep on all day. America runs on Dunkin'. The fur salon at Saks Jandel is going out in style. Truckloads of furs, 50 to 60% off, plus take an additional 20% off. Top designer furs, bottomed out prices. At Saks Jandel, Wisconsin Avenue, Chevy Chase. Don't miss it. Good Morning America is brought to you by Ford. We go further so you can. Then there were three. Tonight, it's the last episode before the final bake. It ain't over till it's over, right? Who will stack up against the competition? How about that then? And who will fall short? Oh my gosh. The Great American Baking Show, new tonight on ABC. The wait is over. Scandal returns Thursday, January 19th on ABC. From ABC 7 News, this is a Good Morning Washington update. Good morning, Washington. I'm Melanie Hastings. A change in timing for tonight's winter weather. New this morning, that snow is arriving earlier today. Here's meteorologist Eileen Whalen. All right, Melanie. Well, here is the system right now bringing snow to spots of Kentucky and Tennessee. And uh, the little blip that you see here on radar in Northern Virginia not hitting the ground. But as far as timing, it is going to be a little bit earlier. As far as road conditions go, before 3, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Around 3, maybe a few flurries. But between 3 and 7, we may have some slick spots. And then very slick 7 p.m. through the overnight hours. And then even though it'll be dry by tomorrow morning, it will still be a little bit slippery on the roads. As far as accumulation, it's not going to be a lot, guys. Just about a dusting here in the DMV, maybe around an inch or slightly higher farther north and west. Melanie. All right, Eileen, thanks so much. And you can expect a messy ride home tonight and tomorrow morning because of the snow event. Stay with ABC 7 for continuing coverage all day of the wintry weather. Plus, Good Morning Washington will be starting early tomorrow. We'll be on the air at 4 a.m. Checking some other top stories, a sigh of relief at a hospital in Tacoma Park after what officials called a, quote, mini disaster. A water main break near Washington Adventist Hospital dramatically reduced water pressure at the hospital overnight. The facility did stay open. It was able to keep on treating patients. However, it did not accept any new patients. That break is now fixed. And D.C. and Park Police are trying to figure out who left a violin case packed with guns in a wooded area by the Potomac River. A woman hiking on the CNO Canal found that case with two handguns inside. Investigators then found more weapons and ammunition just a quarter of a mile away. And you can get more news, traffic, and weather updates on Good Morning Washington over on News Channel 8 anytime. Another update right here, back in 30 minutes, and now we'll send it to Good Morning America. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.